immediately start recording again. It says my AI worker's blocked. Oh, it's because he ran into a tree. Look at this guy. <laughs> he like drove the he drove the loader into a tree and like lifted the tracks up. The AI worker's blocked. No kidding. Hey, how did you even? Well, the AI worker is now fired because he drove my half a million dollar loader into a tree and just kept going. That's an instant you're fired for sure. Okay, I'll just walk this thing out there. But yeah, well, it's, uh, like I said, that's cool to, uh, it's cool to have a career that you can enjoy and keep for that long term. I mean, it's, like you said, you haven't been for the same, same company for the whole time. It's, you probably jumped for a different, a few different ones, right? So. Yep. At least that made it probably a little bit more fun. Yeah, lots of different industries too. I was with the uh, public safety, so police. Oh, okay. Oh, so it wasn't just that. trucking. You've, you've moved around no. to different stuff. No, I've moved around to different industries. Awesome. And then uh, into trucking and uh, communications. I was with TELUS for six years. TELUS. Oh, no way. Yeah. They were our, one of our greatest competitors in the area here. I, don't, I've, I mean, I don't know. Our company always talked shit about them, but I didn't. I have them as a cell phone provider, and I have for a long time. And honestly, it's been fine. Do I think I pay too much? Obviously, but we all pay way too much for cell phones here. <laughs> yeah. Well, up here we do, yeah. Yeah. What do you guys, like, in Alberta, is your prices any different? Like, for cell phone usage, or are they pretty much the same no. as BC? No, pretty much the same. You may and not have the tax. Were you, you always in Alberta, or were you somewhere else before? No, always in Alberta. Yeah, always in Alberta, yeah. Yeah, hey, you guys' car insurance is a lot cheaper than ours, that's for sure. So ours yeah, is ridiculous. Yeah, they've, uh, they've changed some things around with that this year. Like up, yeah, up for you guys? Or? Well, no, what they did was they introduced a... Uh, I'm not sure how to describe it. So if you have a claim, yeah. if you have an accident, your insurance pays the claim regardless of who's at fault. Oh, okay. So, like, they'll pay for my... my fixing in my vehicle right it just doesn't go on my record oh it goes on the other person goes on the other, at fault. other individuals that's fault, that fault ah but, that makes sense so kind of it's kind of wacky know. though that's going to create some interesting <laughs> lawsuits <laughs> well yeah my fear is that what's it going to do to policies yeah because if i if i have a great record which i mean knock on wood 60 years and i've had one accident hell yeah I think I've only had one. Wait, were you at fault or 50 50 or what? Uh, I was at fault. That's the only one. Dang it. That always sucks. Yeah. Yeah, you don't count accidents where you're not at fault. That's not an accident. That's someone else's accident. You were just part of it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I've only had one where I, uh, yeah, I was at fault. I, shouldn't, I don't think I should have been because I think it should have been a 50 50. But there was a, it was a big, stupid gray area thing. But anyway. Yeah, no, I've been in one too. Nobody got hurt or anything, but I definitely totaled that other person's car. I had a big truck with a big bull bar on the front, and oh. I had zero damage on my truck. I think my bull bar bent one of the little rings a little bit. That's about it. But nice. the person I hit had a brand new, two week old brand new uh, minivan from the Dodge dealership there. Oh, and I hit it right in the center panel. Well, she was slowing down and had her turn signal on, and. I mean, I don't do it anymore, but I mean, all the time I'd be like, oh, this person's slowing down to turn, so I would just drive out because they're turning anyway. Well, apparently she had her turn signal on and then uh, didn't actually make the turn, and I pulled out and just ran straight to the side of her. <laughs> so I gunned it out because I'm like, oh, I'm going to get ahead of her, and then she just sped up instead of turning, and then boom, it was just the perfect impact. Because, of course, I looked the other way to see if anyone was coming before I pulled out, and then as I pulled out, I realized she sped up, and I was like, oh, God, didn't hit the braking time. But I hit that right in that center panel where her uh, where her door opens up, uh, like on the oh, yeah. minivan, that sliding piece. So I hit that, and it bent the whole frame and cracked all the door, and all the windows broke on one side. But it was a total write-off. They had to give her a new vehicle. But she was fine. Like there wasn't, I didn't hit it hard enough to actually like throw her around or hurt her or anything. She didn't have any injuries, thank God. But I remember she was just, oh, it was, it was just yeah, I was really stupid. I was younger too. It was like. I want to say a year after high school, so new driver. Man, I sure aided on those insurance rates for a while, though, let me tell you. 
<laughs> yeah, especially being a new driver. I was like, man, there goes that discount for the next five years. Yeah. But I think it's all gone now. I finally cleared it. I'm a pretty cautious driver now. Yeah, now I drive my little beater, my beater Lexus thing. So I'm like, go ahead, hit me. I don't even care. I'll probably get more money from this thing's even worth by the time you're getting an insurance claim. I'm surprised you didn't end up on that one show of Canada's worst drivers. Oh my God, I should have for, I should have for my first year's driving. Now I'm like, I, now I could probably go into like Canada's pro drivers for defensive classes and stuff. But man, back when I was out of high school, yeah, it was like bumper cars out there. they would be careful. But I also live in a town where, well, I'm sure everybody lives in a town where they think everybody's the worst drivers, but I swear here, there are a special breed of drivers here. It's like a... What town do you live in? Uh, I live in Smithers, which is kind of like oh, way yep. up north of... You know where it is, yeah? Oh, yeah. Small world, eh? Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, you probably have done maybe trucking logistics up this way, huh? Oh, yeah. 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 Or, Banster uh, or something? Or? Yeah. yeah. We've, uh, when I was with the heavy haul group, we hauled lots of heavy equipment up into that oh yeah it's yeah it's a very uh logging mining area for sure up here well like say if you're familiar with fort mac i mean shit we're we're just as busy up here now than as they are so well coincidentally the company i was with uh we used to bring back uh, logging equipment from new logging equipment from Quebec. oh okay yep. that's crazy uh they were mostly, I'm trying to think of what they were. They were tiger cats. Tiger cats? Yeah. Yeah. Because aren't they made in Quebec or something I like that? I don't know who made... Actually, I've never even looked at that. I've only ever seen John Deere stuff. And Medill. I think Medill was uh, done in... Down in... Uh, actually, I don't even remember where Medill was now. I want to say somewhere down like... Uh, not Vancouver. It had to be somewhere like Toronto or something like that. Right. Pretty sure, but... And the other big source of our revenue was uh, uh, bringing um, all-terrain cranes in from the coast. Oh, like okay. Man, that we must made, have been a, uh, a heck of overseas. a logistics project. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there was different sizes, of course. So yeah, yeah. So what did uh, yeah. what did you have to do? Did you have to get like the uh, like your company? Did they? Did they get oh, the drivers had, then? Like you guys were the hauling group itself? Yeah, we yeah. had uh, we had the drivers. We had uh, trailers. We had to get all the permitting, everything for the load. Oh yeah, all of the transportation. Yeah, that's crazy. Yep. So makes interesting for, loads. I was gonna say it makes for an interesting uh, bout of things to haul for sure. Well, if you want a job there where every every load is different, <laughs> pretty much different. <laughs> that's that's the one, hey. Uh, one. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah I had you a... never know. I mean, there, it, you, each time you go and get something, um, you may be picking up from the same place. You may be picking up the same equipment, but nine times out of ten, you're going to be taking it somewhere new. That's pretty cool. And so your permitting is uh, is all different for that particular area. So. Well, and I'm sure lots of lots of drivers like that, especially guys that like to be on the road and stuff. You know, going somewhere different is pretty 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 handy well, to have. They made some serious coin. We oh, had, I imagine. Uh, the company was at head office at Langley, BC, and there was an owner operator out there had all of his own equipment. He had a 13 axle um, low boy. Yeah. And he uh, he was making uh, a quarter million dollars a year. Ooh, with that. Money, eh? Hey? Yeah. Yep. And That's then, crazy. Uh, yeah, so he, uh, he he had a really interesting load. He brought a, uh, it was a training fuselage out of Chilliwack. Yeah. And took it across Canada to, I forget, somewhere in Ontario. Oh, cool. But that was, uh, that was uh, probably one of the more interesting interesting loads that he, yeah, I've I had ever uh, seen that I ever heard of. I had a friend who was a long truck driver um, when he used to work at the scales there, and he, uh, he used to work for somebody in Fort... Fort Mac or Alberta or somewhere there that did uh, like the big rigs and they'd haul all the all the big rig parts and drills and all that kind of stuff and man he said yeah he made some disturbing amounts of money doing that but he said the hauls were crazy like they'd do weird stuff he said sometimes the company he worked for they'd do like you know he'd, he'd go haul an art collection or something and then the next day he'd be hauling a drilling rig and like 
he just got to do it all. Like, it was such weird stuff. But yep. he just loved it. So he said every time it was yeah. something different. But yeah, it's pretty neat. Hey, Larry, I just built some decks up there. Actually, you can hop in that other processor if you want. Just instead of walking all the way up there. Um, and then when G-Man's done here, we'll walk up there and start a new. That's our next landing. I just didn't want to drag it all over here. Ah, uh, gotcha. Or if you want a break from the processor, I can process and you can, uh, I don't know, skid or bunch or do whatever you want. Uh, do, do you want me to walk this uh, loader up there or? Yeah, sure. Uh, is that the dangle heads in there? You can bring that for sure. I think so. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, I'm just cleaning up bits and pieces here with this guy. Yeah, Al, I think, had to jump off there. She's pretty late for him. He usually only does two. We're going for a solid three this evening, just to round it up. It's going to be <laughs> different. So, rock for another 20 minutes, and then we'll probably call her. Oh, it's good to play, man. I'm just, uh, frick, it's been, I feel like I haven't played in, like, ages. I guess it's been a couple weeks, but... I try to play when I can, but work has been just god-awful busy, and people are calling in sick because it's nice out, so everybody is apparently sick. <laughs> 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 the weather's good, so everyone's got a cold, apparently. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, I'm always on the list to get called first because I actually go in when I'm called, so that's good. But I find oh, if you uh, do that, they actually keep you, keep you pretty yeah, busy. Those are the guys that uh, are hard to come by because yeah. they're reliable. Yeah, I've been called the unicorn multiple times now because I know the job really well, do it really well, and I make myself available for whoever needs it. But apparently that's not a common thing because most of the people who spare for other jobs or do casual stuff don't show up. So Hard to call them spares though if they don't want to work. I don't know. I just enjoy doing different stuff. Oh, I thought this was a process over here because of John Deere. Whoops. Oh, yeah. No, that's right. I was, I'm not sure what we're doing with that one, honestly. That's just been sitting around for a while. We didn't even use it for the last little bit, I don't think. <laughs> Darn it. It's just hanging out, but, I mean, you can use it if you want for something. I was just using that for decking, but I think I'll use that dangle head to deck now if we need it. Is that uh, load pretty well ready to go there, G-Man? You got her cleaned I, up? Oh, yeah. I think if I try to put too many more on, not being the expert like you, I'd hey. probably Hey, come help, on now. <laughs> it's okay. That's how you get practice, though. I'm not an expert. I just wing it, and sometimes it looks really good, and then sometimes it really looks bad. <laughs> that's the true That's the true term of being an expert, when you can wing it, and people and think you know what you're doing, and yep. that's the important part, right? It's just like all professions. Um, yeah. so yeah, you, you can, uh, I'll drive it. So either you can unload it at the mill or, uh, Larry, you can unload it at the mill if you want to do some unloading. Uh, yeah, sure. I can do that. Entirely up to you guys. Don't matter to me, but I can totally drive it because I know these things can be a bit of a nightmare to drive. Huh, you're telling me. I do yeah. not look. Nice load though. That looks really good. Got this one left. Yeah, no worries, take it down. Take your time. Especially loading. Never be in a hurry when you're loading or unloading stuff. That's how you break things. Well, I know it's just a game. You probably won't break anything in this, but... Locked and loaded. There. Right, I just got to change a battery in my headphone. One sec here. I, say, I can still talk, but you guys... I won't be able to hear you guys, so if you have anything really bad to say, now's the time to do it, because I can't hear you. Until three, two, one. Beep. There we go. Oh, there we go. Now I can hear you guys. So whatever you said, only the only the people that watch the video will know. <laughs> there we go. It's the joys of wireless uh Headsets, the batteries always die at the most inconvenient times. Alright. Yeah, so Let's I kind of have a funny story. Yeah, uh, shoot. 
my mom. Uh, so she's an operator, she's a shovel operator for her job. Sweet, like and excavator? She runs? Yeah. Nice. Excavators. Uh, How mostly, long has she been doing that for? Uh, for about a couple of years now, I think. Um, oh, that's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. And her boss has kind of made her third in charge of the company because she's like the only one that would actually climb up the machine and actually do the work. <laughs> and, and she's actually good at it, unlike yeah. the other guys. So, that's funny. Um, yeah. And so she. One day, uh, her boss asked her to walk a processor off of one of the landings. Um, okay. And she, she never operated the processor in her life. All she had to do was just walk it off the landing. Um, so, you know, the low boy could pick it up the next morning. Yeah. But <clears throat> anyway, as she was walking down, she's never, you know, experienced the whole shaking of the processor go up and up to her face near the cab. Right. Scared like swinging back and forth her. at her, not used to a dangle head, probably. Hey? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's funny. So, hey, G man, uh, you can come unload this if you want. Sorry to interrupt you. No. Just tab oh, okay. um, um, so so she she had to like put it on a low bed or like what was the? No, she just had to walk it down a hill. Oh, um, just move really, it. Oh, okay. Yeah, like down a logging hill. Yeah. And uh, she she was by herself. Uh, she shouldn't have been by herself. She's just, there should have been like one other person there. Yeah, usually, but, usually some other radio should be. Yeah. Yeah, and that was the scary part for her too. Like she's she's uh she's has you know other excavators go you know she's walked them out of the forest before so right it, it was just like the whole idea of like this freaking processor going swinging toward the cab like really frightened her. <laughs> and she's like I'm never ever do that again. Uh, <laughs> this is, yeah. She's like. Like, you know, it's like a big drop on the side of the boat, and she's like, oh, man. I was, like, peeing my pants. I was so scared. Yeah, you got to, like, uh, <laughs> yeah, just got to keep your keep your head far enough that that swing won't come back at you. Because, yeah, when you're walking them, they kind of dance around a bit. But normally when you're walking like a normal excavator with a bucket, you want to keep that thing fairly close to you because it keeps you more stable, right? Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. Some of them, some of them you can lock if you're like obviously low bedding them or walking them real far like you can lock the uh the processor head you can chain it up to the boom so don't swing around while you're moving but i mean if you're walking at a short distance most guys just swing it out i think i see me yeah, talking from was... zero experience walking a processor around but <laughs> i only ever got to move one probably 20 feet and it was on really nice ground so it didn't swing around a lot I just love how those cylinders stick out through the grapple. They're so pretty. <laughs> part of me, part of me thought about just getting rid of the cylinders out of the grapples because they do that, but I don't know. The other part of me is like, God, this looks weird without having a cylinder in there. Can't fix it. Don't know what to do. See, now you're doing my job. G-Man, this is what I've been doing for the last several many weeks. Just oh, unloading loading. truck after truck after truck after truck. It's pretty fun, though. Hey, they don't have a stacker where you are? No, usually you use, like, a high stacker, but for the place I'm at, we just use pretty much almost identical to what uh, G-Man's running here. Just the Medill version. Uh, I, got, I got a whole bunch of videos on YouTube coming out here pretty quick. Um... I, oh, I have a few out already, but I have a whole bunch more that are in some of the night shift loading and unloading and stuff. It's pretty cool. And oh. then we'll see what happens with uh, the next few weeks. I'm off this week from loading, so we'll see uh, We'll see if when the chipper comes back if I'm going to be doing that again. But even if even if this is the only experience I get and then they you know run out of money or they can't do it anymore or the company doesn't want them, I had such a good time that I just don't care. And it made the grapples better in the game because I learned some stuff about grapples while operating. <laughs> that was pretty cool. I love how you can do that stuff in real life and be like, oh my god, that's how that works. Ah. After you play with it and you're like, yeah, okay, I gotta make that like that now. <laughs> Gee, man, you're doing a phenomenal job of unloading that. It doesn't have to be perfect. It, that sell point's pretty wide. As long as you get it kind of within the end zone there, it'll sell. I'll actually, I'll go sell some for you here just to open up a space. Mm. 
Well, see, you can retire from that job and then just go be a loaderman. You're set. You got 90% of the skill right there. The rest is just the movement of the machines. And dealing with personalities. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing the last part is, is probably the bigger part. Yeah, yeah, it can be. Depends who you get. Most of the most of the guys I've uh, been dealing with has been really good. But and I hear some horror stories out in the actual bush from certain guys and doing certain things. I guess it all depends. Some days everybody has a bad day. Yeah, it's not. That's just the way she go. I'm gonna pop back out to the bush here and just take a quick look-see. I see Al carved a big nasty trail up this hill. So we should probably paint out some of the ground here. Landscaping. Sweet. I'm oh, sorry, my one processor's kind of right in your way there. <laughs> as long as you can get around it. And we'll cut a little road up here, I guess. And what oh, was a floating tree up there? That's good. Glad to see those are still around. Love my floating trees. Oh man, Al made a really nice trail here. Looks good. Not like I had doubt that he would make a bad trail, but, you know. He's not here to defend himself, so now's the time to get him. Uh, there we go. Nice. Yeah, we'll just kind of keep moseying up that hill. Here, I'll pull this machine ahead. I'll finish processing this pile. By the time we're done these two piles, I think we'll probably be finito for this episodo. Larry, what do you do for work again? I think you told me one time, uh, but I forgot. I'm a lot truck driver. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. You do, yeah, you do the real anyway. stuff. I remember that. Yeah, and I uh, the, uh, I drive a Mac Pinnacle uh, hay rack. Right. Yes. Right. Hay racks. Well, that's nice. Nobody has to load your trailer. That's that's nice. Eh? <laughs> yeah. Just yeah, one solid the unit. Part. It, it, it's 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 good because it's fast to get out of there, but it's bad because yeah, like you said, turnarounds and stuff are a biatch. I bet, hey. Yeah. Yep. Plus, I can't even, like pull into like a convenience store anymore or anything because you just yeah that. Big, yeah, you gotta. It's all on the highway, <laughs> hey. Yeah, you gotta park on the road somewhere. Yeah. 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 Well, my buddy just sent me a picture. He just bought a quad trailer for his truck, and I'm like, well, enjoy quad life. From what I hear, it's miserable as hell. <laughs> yeah. Those quads are uh, a real treat. Have you ever had to deal with those, or do you mostly just done uh, like hay racks and stuff? I've done mop logger and uh, hay rack. Um, yeah. They put me on hay rack because they needed somebody on that for five days a week, and I had volunteer to do it. Gotcha. Um, fortunately, it doesn't pay the difference or anything like that. It's just just it's an extra like, pain in the ass. Yeah. Yeah, it's just an extra pain in the ass. But, uh, told me, you know what, I really want to get back on the long load, on the long logger, because yeah. I just, I, I really like them a lot better because they're just a lot more. Oh, 100%. Know, they, 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 they zip around a lot, especially their trailer deck. Yep, that makes sense. I should build one of those, one where we have to actually load the trailers. Now that I've done it a few times, oh. I'm kind of like, man, it, it wouldn't be, I don't think it'd be hard to do. I think it would be pretty chill to do. That's just, like the one request I want is like, like an actual long logger you can deck. And have yeah, yeah, scam. totally. Yeah, I I made one a long time ago, but it, man, they just the game didn't like it very much. But now that it, now that I know what I know, because I was like back in 2017, like FS17. Now the things I know, I could probably make a pretty good one. I just gotta get some of that stuff called time to build one, <laughs> and then. In my never-ending list of things, but that would be fun. I would like to make a decent, uh, a decent one. Yeah, after that, maybe a build train, perhaps. 
Yeah. Well, that'd be pretty sweet too. There's all kinds of things I want to build. Although I, I'm not sure how we're gonna deck the trailers. I don't know. The trailer loader is not gonna really. Uh, no. <laughs> really have to you'd have to. You'd have scratch. to. You'd have to load it with a loader on this end and on the other end. Like I don't think you'd be able to do a straight up trailer loader. <laughs> And then what I would do is I would just make it so it attached at a separate point. So when you put it on there, I don't know if it would actually sit on the trailer, like the weight wise, if I put the tires on there, like, you know, real life, you don't have to lock it down. It just sits there. But, um, I don't know if you could do that in the game without it flying off there. I'd probably have to get a little, like a little attachment point that you could connect it or something. Yeah. I don't know. It sounds like fun though. Kind of want to try it. See what kind of misery I can create for players. <laughs> That's what it's all about. Creating an experience you'll never forget, but you wish you did. Yeah. No, I've never really made a lot of logging trucks. I played with the trailers lots, but I usually use the in-game trucks because they're already so well optimized. But what I can do is I can use the in-game trucks and then I could probably just, you know, do something to it. Like looking at this truck, I mean, you could put just a, a bunk right here that swings on the back, and I could leave the rest of it all just the same, and then just have like a spin spinning bunk. Um, I'd have to do a configuration with like a hay rack though, and put a hay rack on the middle, and then remove all the extra configurations. Yeah, that's if I wanted to I, do that. I believe I, I believe you can do it. Or, I think I said hay rack. I meant headache rack. Did I say hay rack? Yeah. Yeah, sorry. What the hell am I talking about? Headache rack. A headache rack with the little place to put your, uh, place to put your little reach. Oh, here, I'll sell some of that stuff for you there, buddy. Rip. Just like that, magic disappeared right before your eyes. But yeah, it'd be fun to make like a short version of this guy that you can stack. I could do a quad trailer. Oh, miserable quad trailers. Why not? Oh, the one wanted to twist on you there, hey? There's always one. Oh, you got her, yeah. You might lose a few, but that's just life. I got a funny video coming out of me unloading these absolute rat tail wood off of a truck. You guys just oh, laugh yeah. at how many fall off. Just, you, there's just nothing you can do about it. It's just the way it is. They just frick. There's so many. Like, they're as thin as that tiny piece that just fell off, but there's thousands of them, and it's just like each grab is just spaghetti. It's like, what the hell? But it's a pretty funny video. You guys will see it when it comes out there. Eventually. Oh, yeah. My source of entertainment. Yeah. Is, uh, <laughs> whoa. Yeah, it's all good. Uh, Listen to yours. <laughs> yeah, well, that's it, hey? Gotta have some, uh... Well, now you're part of the entertainment, so now you're gonna be like, Oh, damn, I'm in there now. What the hell? Yeah. Trip yourself out. I remember one guy told me that one time. He's like, it's so weird. I've been watching it for, like, so long, and then now I heard my voice in it, and I'm just like, it's so weird. <laughs> and most people, 90% of people, are always like, God, I hate to listen to my own voice. Oh, oh it's so bad. And then I'm like, dude, you sound fine. You, Everyone's their own worst judge, I swear to God. But, I mean, if your voice is like, hey, I'm Mr. Splendor, right? And then I'd be like, okay, yeah, I'd hate that voice too, buddy. But um, most people are... Many times I should have got into radio. You should have. You actually sound like you could be, like, a broadcaster or something. I could 100% put that on you. Maybe a retirement plan. You can go host, uh, host shows or something. <laughs> Talk about logistics or something. Yeah. Make millions. Logistics planner, Ramsey. It's <laughs> getting some just dope footage here. Actually, you know what I should have done is done uh, GS HUD visibility, and I could take some pictures here. If you're actually unloading, I should have done that while you were doing it. Of course, now I'm doing it, but it's too late. I love doing pictures. Let's go to here and check this here. Get some more shots of this guy. Once I get some actual new machines, probably be better too. Some of these little 
pieces are just god awful, man. Throw away the god awful pieces. That's probably a good picture. Wink. Yeah. <laughs> Try to get it when you're doing the cut, it looks pretty sweet. Sorry, I'm up in your business. Just pretend I'm not real. What is real? What is real? Or is this just a fantasy? Woo, that one shot out. Yeah, that one came whipping. That was good. Good solid whipping. <laughs>